Hello, friends, and welcome to Stan's Collector's Universe. And I'm your host, Stan. And today, we're going to be looking at this. I call it an unboxing, but it's an unbagging, basically. It's a dealer lot of 10 Folding Knives USA. Uh, they're all vintage. Um, and what we're going to do is, uh, if you came here from seeing this is my uh, uh, upload today uh, for a uh, short, uh, that was the first where I actually did take a quick look-see at them. Uh, I did not really check them out, though, too much. I just took a quick, like, look at them. You know what I mean? Uh, so I didn't, I, I guess I'm trying to say is, you know, some people might say, oh, we already looked at them. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of, but not really. You know, if that makes sense. So here we go. First knife is, well, let's see, make sure two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we do. First knife, we got a Great Smoky Mountains. Got a little bear on there going across. This is a little souvenir, you know, a little generic, just cheap. Ooh, got half stops on it. Holy cow. And this was, uh, I can't. But USA, you can see it there. I can't really read it too well. But cute little knife. Put that up there. Check out this cute little jackknife here. This one is, looks like Park Cut Co. USA. Check that out. Pretty cool. The blade's a little rough. But, you know, sometimes that's what you get when you get vintage knives. This needs some uh, oiling and stuff. But I enjoy checking. Ooh, look at that nice little pen blade there. I enjoy taking care of knives and checking them out and making them making them nice again. So that'll be a little project. This little pearloid knife here. Look how pretty that is. Oops, sorry. Get it where you can see it right. There we go. Pretty little knife. See if I can get the blade out. The blade is so wore down that I can barely get that one. Somebody carried this a long time. Try to... Can't quite make that out. But it is USA. I don't think the pen blade, I'm going to use my little nail neck here, see if I can get that out. Boy, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out. But, you know, that's what happens sometimes when you buy these lots. And we got this one here, which like Rex Stanley Feed Yard, what used to be on there. Nice little blade there. Can't quite make that one out. Looks like Camco. Um, get out the... So, yeah, this is a nice little Stockman. Look at that. Nice little Stockman knife. Nice. Okay, next we'll go to... Well, I guess I should pull that down so you can see that one there. We'll go to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Go to this one here. This looks like it's got a lock of some type there, a liner lock. Let's pull out the main blade. Ooh, look at that. This is stainless Craftsman US or Crossman blade USA Cross. I've never heard of Crossman. You can see that bannering even on the main blade. Boy, that liner lock locks up nicely. Ouch. Okay, gonna use my nail nick here. I'm gonna pull it behind the camera so I don't cut the snot out of myself. Hopefully, though, this is finding you all in a good mood. You're feeling good. You're enjoying life. Everything's going good for you. I thought a nail nick tool was supposed to make these opening these easier. Guess that's what I get for thinking, huh? Oh, man, I cannot get this secondary blade open. Okay. I'm going to change my approach. Ouch! Okay, not opening it. Just stabbed my finger. Not sure if I'm bleeding. No, good. Then it looks like we got a couple of, uh, couple three. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Still getting over to Creeping Crud. Um, oh, what is this here? Craftsman USA. Couple three, uh, Stockman here. Nice looking, definitely needs to be cleaned up. 
But man, nice looking blade. You can tell it got some use there. Some really poor sharpening done with it. But missing the shield, but I found a place I can probably get that shield. So that'll be cool. Can fix that up. Man, still got good snap on all the blades. So that's kind of cool. Check these two out. Now, yesterday on my short, I could not, or this morning on my short, sorry, I'm going to do it behind the camera. I could not get the main blade open <clears throat> on either of these. So I am going to see what I can do here with my nail knit tool. I'm still working on them. I'm still here. Okay, got one of the, got the one little, the, one blade open. Remember what Patty Potato Peeler showed you, how to use these. Oh, man, when you do it the right way, you can actually open crap. Amazing. Okay, got it. Again, Crossman knives. Interesting. Crossman USA. I'm going to have to do some research on that name. I've never heard of that. But, yeah, look at this. Uh serrated uh sheep's foot blade pretty cool look at spay blade there <clears throat> good walk and talk Ooh, dang did you hear that open up a nice lock up there wow nice looking knife actually but man they need some lubrication to say the least let's see this one i'm going to take behind the camera and open the blades because i uh struggled with them on the uh live stream i did i dropped or not live stream but short i dropped for you all to see these uh first you know when i first took them out of the bag because i'd never really looked at them myself either i got them in okay another crossman knives 910a looks to be an exact same duplicate twin to that one again oh good walk and talk this just, just uh Need some lube. Need some lube. Okay, let's check out this electrician's knife. The main blade. Oh, Craftsman. Craftsman USA. I bet you with a little cleaning on these handles. Okay, my nail's so destroyed now. A little cleaning on these handles. Um, man, this will be a this will be a nice looking knife. Oh, my poor nail. <laughs> well. I guess that's what I get when you like knives. That's what you get. You know what I mean? But yeah, it needs some cleaning up, but still American made vintage, vintage American made knife there. We'll move these over some. I think my beautiful bride's up finally. It's uh, Friday. It's her day off. And then I thought this knife was beautiful. I think I hear up there. Pretty cool looking knife. Now look at that. I do not know what that emblem is there. Toon, Foon, I, I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. But supposedly, I guess it's a USA brand. I don't see any place saying that that's a US, saying USA on it. But I'm going to have to look that up in one of my books. I wish I would have brought one of my books down with me. But that's a cool looking blade, even if it ends up not being, you know, it's a white smooth bone, a little, you know, little age to it some patina on the brass it's a good looking knife well what do you guys think of my uh purchase you know uh I, it didn't break the bank um I, I i got some nice vintage knives here to check out and it makes me happy <clears throat> well thanks for joining me this morning um if you came here from watching my short please leave a comment and let me know i appreciate that uh with that being said uh please like subscribe comment Live long, prosper, and collect your own way.